Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good afternoon, and welcome to a bit more of Pillars of Eternity. Uh, Pillars of Eternity, excuse me. Pillars of Eternity. Where I think this might just be a bit more of a chilled out episode. I mean, the last one was eight hours long. And I'm recording as someone's uploading. So, uh, yeah, I'm just zooming through these. Uh, but yeah, it's like, in all seriousness. Sorry, I'm spinning on. Yeah. Uh, in all seriousness, though, uh, I think we do need a bit of a chilled out one. So, of course, let's do that. Oh dear, we know we don't thieve. Uh, let's talk to you. Understand a bit more about Defiance Bay. <coughs> Bandon Lair. Well, the ruined man slips through the wall with a confident swagger, a smug grin arched on his face. He's flanked by five other hard looking individuals. Oh, his companions eyes you for just a moment before spitting the chew at your feet. Another pup gone wandering again, I see. Just know that Bynes Giant Slayers run things around here and you'll be fine. Never heard of them. His eyes narrow. You have now. Look around to find some bay and you'll will again. Plenty of bounties to go around. Remember there's a giant slayer that's got the lion's share. Remember that. Enough jabber, Bane. You're gonna do the job or talk about it. <laughs> when and right. The coin ain't gonna collect itself. You're out. So, this is essentially the uh, bounty place. Don't stand on ceremony. State your business. Two other dozens. Good men and women trying to walk through the footsteps of great men and women who came before us. For a loose association of warriors and expeditionaries in the Deerwood. Not as fancy as the Crucible might, mind you, but we at least remember our roots. At least they remember someone else's roots and pretend to be like them. Their roots. The Crucible Knights take place, take pride in having won in the Deerwood's freedom 150 years ago by the ones who protected it. Everyone knows the Saints' war ended with the God Hammer destroyed Wadwin and even the uh, Ridge. A lot of folks don't know how Wadwin ended up in that bridge. Seven men, five women. They walked out of Helgard Citadel and faced down a guard, held him there until the bomb went off. He thumps the table. That's the legacy we defend. Some call us mercenaries, but we don't need matching armor and silky cloaks to remember our roles. We're the same now as we were then. We stand up for the people. First line of defense, whatever it takes. We got new enemies now. If it's not wild one, it's his damn legacy. It's the damn soul butchers in Brackenbury making things even worse than all of us. Probably causing the whole thing one way or another. Well, we haven't gone anywhere. And there's lots more than twelve of us now. We defended deal once. We'll do it again. A lot of stolen valor in that talk. A lot of we business. Um, we'll see how this goes. But otherwise, yeah, it's like, uh, no, the dozen, well, Durance is one of the survivors. But, uh, hmm, we'll see what the dozen do nowadays to earn the title. I'm looking for work. He's usually got something. You do well for him, maybe I can find you more. Farewell, and I guess we'll do that. Yeah, so I think this was, this might well just be like a gaming news video. I don't like how much to talk about. I'm mostly just talking about, talking about about to be honest. For the last time, Aidwig, keep your fucking blade up. If that dummy was armed, it'd have your head off. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm about the exposition hall. It's treasure hunting, plain and simple. Sponsors put up money, hire adventurers to explore the wilds, looking for ruins personally. If they come back alive, they split the spoils. If not, well, it's because they handle their weapons like this lot in front of me, who might as well be digging their own graves right now. Got business with me? I'm looking for work. Talk to Wenham. I just handle these mercenary shit shovelers. <laughs> Adventurers, I mean. I like Oswick's voice actor. Although, I do have something I need done. Something that requires competence. What you need to I was formerly one of the Knights of the Crucible. When I left, they kept my arms and armor. The arms they can have, but the armor belonged to my family. I'd like it back. You can just ask for it back. No, no. A 
method like that, I'm sure. But I won't be going. I'd sooner be torn apart by dogs than give them the satisfaction. Doesn't sound like leaving the Crucible Knights was your choice. You don't choose to leave knighthood. The Crucible Knights, they may not be a real knighthood, but the oaths you swear are just as true. Understandable. Still, turns out that even unofficial knighthoods have politics. You cross the wrong man, suddenly all kinds of accusations are thrown your way, and nobody believes you. Nothing more to in the crowd with the wrong idea. What's the sound like? Much to look at, and it's seen far too much use, but it's been in my family since the liberation. See what I can do? And then it's Penhelm you're looking for. A low snake of a man. If he was to die choking on his own black tongue, it'd be too kind of fate. He kept it when he had me kicked out. I got word from a reliable source that Penhelm visited a forge with Andrew's gift, right after having his soul injured by a siphon in Redrow. Should you have it in your heart to find a way to ruin his life like you're there, well, drink some me. I mean, your soul lineage, Red. It's a requirement to join the Knights. They have to ensure an Ovitiate doesn't have a subversive lineage. If Penhelm's superiors found out his affidavit was a fake, his career would be over. Every Novitiate gets an affidavit from Dunreed Row, and those are stored at Crucible Keep. If you find Penhelm's, one of those ciphers could tell you if it's real. Okay. So, um, we'll do this quest. Doesn't hurt to have a bit more experience. Um, yeah, I want to talk about something as well that was revealed with the Bowed. Um, this game will not have romances. How do you do? I haven't seen you before. You headed out with the expedition? Let's talk to this person. Um, tell me about the expeditions. There are a group of adventurers that venture into the wilderness. More than a few of them try their luck at scouring the ruins. Most of them come back empty-handed. They can work at all. Betting on them is almost as risky as actually going. But that's how the expeditions get funded. And every once in a while, one of the adventuring companies will strike a big and make a fortune off of their backers. How long have you worked at Amath's skirt? Oh, a few years. I got in the minute the last merchant cleared out. They got new expeditions venturing out every week. So this is a great place to do business. And the dozens make loyal friends, and loyal customers, as long as you stick by them. The vendor who was here before me, they ran him out when he sold his best helms to a pair of crucible knights. I mean, Kevin has made that same mistake. Okay, so we can't buy anything yet. But that may come later. So yes, yeah, so about won't have uh, romances. And that's something that if I'm totally honest about, I'm actually quite glad of. Um, I can do I'm not a prude by any means. Well, okay, I, tell, like, I am something of a prude. Uh, you wouldn't know based on my videos, but yeah. Um, I'll give it a trust request at least. Trilogical map. Cinders of Faith, okay. I'll come in handy later. Um. But yeah, um, yeah. It's a, the thing is that nearly every RPG nowadays, it's almost like an ex it's, a, it's an expectation that you have uh, romances. Um, um, so it should be in Dunwood Row. So we have, we have to accept. Okay, that's fine. So there's a certain expectation that like there's going to be romances in these games, and a lot of them are very transactional. It's like you put in money and love comes out, um, or you put in love and sex comes out. You know, and it's so such a piss poor system. It really is. Um, press fires, okay. Um, yeah, and it's like, it was novel at the time of like Baldur's Gate um, 2, uh, 1 and 2, or even going further back with Ultima. Um, 
with which was like I think the first game to have like an openly gay relationship, um, or an openly gay character even. Um, um, yeah. So it's like it's been interesting to have these things in games, but like nowadays it's almost like it's an expectation, and. It's usually a mechanic. I think that's my problem with it. It's too mechanical. It's not there for the sake of it. It's not something that just develops naturally. It's something that happens at certain points of the game. You must complete this amount of quests rather than this much time on the road, this much time camping, this much time actually talking to people. And when you talk to people, it's only when they have new dialogue options that they that the romance is actually even possible. It's not based on your physical attractiveness or your, uh, you know, verbal charisma or anything like that. Um, you know, it's always like, no matter what, this person's always going to want to be in some stage in the game. <laughs> Good day to you. It's not great. I'll continue with this. Every day we get more in the hinterlands pouring into Defiance Bay. It's just busy on what she does. You look like you've recently arrived yourself. We knew. The soldier of the Crucible Knights, I'm proud of it. If I help keep things running in the keep, so the Commander Cliver can focus on all important matters. Look for something? There's a knock in the dirt off your boots. What goes on in Crucible Keep? This is the headquarters of the Crucible Knights, so it's where we store arms and armor, as well as any, as well as many of the soldiers' bunk. Commander Cliver's in the back, making plans, as usual. You'll find the forge at the west end of the building, along with Master Smith Dunstan. There's also a shrine to the golem. If you're if you're the praying time, I'll talk about the Crucible Knights. We're the defenders of the Defiance Bay. We're not exactly a formal knighthood, so don't don't know until Commander Clive uh, said that. We were the first organized militia to oppose idea and rule, and today we're the largest force in the city. Our soldiers undergo years of combat training, and our officers are required to have their souls read by that critter and Dunreed Row. What's this about Dunreed Row? Just a requirement of the Crucible Knights. So the Hirops know there's nothing messy in your soul's past. Yeah, the ranks pure is fine by me. I just wish to be more careful with hiring those ciphers. <laughs> What's wrong with the ciphers? They're mostly Orlands. I'm sure they're talented enough, but you can't trust them. Hostilities in their nature, and they've learned to hide over the years. All I'm saying is they should be supervised by the folk. That's reasonable enough, isn't it? Uh, if people are treating them better, you won't have to worry about them being so hostile. Nevolent. I'm just speaking the truth. Ah, uh, that's the biggest crime of all. Oh dear. Oh, I thought I was gonna like these guys. There's the training room, there's the forge, there's the barracks, there's the war room. There's the shrine of Abaddon. An Elm's affidavit. Baron, a cipher currently appointed to employ in downward row, does hereby certify that Novitiate A.M. Penhelm must be found with a soul free of any sub sub subversive influences and tainted essence. So, yes, yeah, so I think relationships in video games are often very badly written. They are. Um, As requested. Yeah, they're very transactional, and they're very uh, superficial, um, especially when the only, like, the only way you can actually improve some characters is basically by having, you know, reaching the maximum level with them, which is sex. Um, if you want, um, If you want any other sort of relationship, just a platonic relationship or friendship or, you know, just like work colleagues. So what about family? That's another relationship that's not really exploring games. You can't have that. It's got to be romantic. And now there's the thinking as well that every character has to be, um, um, you know, pansexual. Or it used to be like bi, now it's sort of like pan. Um, that God forbid that a character actually have their own, you know, 
thoughts and feelings on things. You know, and that's all fine. Um, um, but it comes to sexuality, no, they must be romanceable by everybody. You know, they can't be just one thing or the other. I'm not bitter in any way. You know, it's like if that's what you want to do, that's fine. That's we are, how you want to say. Okay, I'm not saying it's wrong. Um, I just think it takes away something when, uh, when characters aren't defined in that way. That everything else about them is defined, like their politics, their origins, all the rest of it. But um, their sexuality is the one thing that's like completely able to be more than all that. But that's just me. And honestly, it doesn't bother me so much. Like, I I can live with it, you know? It's like, it's fine. Uh, but as a completionist, like, I do the whole relationship stuff because it's... Uh, because it's necessary for the game, not for roleplay purposes. Um, in Baldur's Gate, I remember, I was not very happy in Baldur's Gate where... Uh, it actually took them a while to do this, to fix this bug where um, one of the ma mage characters, Gale, uh, you ha if you spoke to him, basically you couldn't say no to his advances. And um, yeah, you kind of just sort of entered into, you just began a relationship. Or whatever. And I, I was actually, I wanted to join someone else, but no, Gale did this. And uh, it sort of put me off in a way. Honestly, I mean, like, Gale's, like, fine. Gale's a fine character. Love him. Um, you know, for another character, that would have been a fine romance. But there was someone else in the party that I wanted instead. No. That choice overrid it, and now everyone in camp is talking about it. Um, so I'm like, okay. Uh, well, I guess this is the romance I'm pursuing, then, if it's if it's going to advance things, whatever. Um, yeah. I think Baldur's Gate as well, and let's be honest, we know that Baldur's Gate was sold on the idea of the whole bear sex meme and whatnot. Um, you know, that's what caused it to blow up. Um, and I get that, you know, Larian laid into that. You know, they made the game super thirsty, and that's their one. Um, it's just like, I'm just sort of sick of it. I don't need the tantalization. I don't need the tantalization. Uh, titilization, rather. Uh, so, yeah. But that, again, that's me. Um, so, it's refreshing to have no romances, but I do get that other people who want companion romances aren't going to get them. However, I think, well, I, I mean, I've always thought this, like, well, shouldn't we actually see if the companions are going to be any good first? What's the point in asking the devs to put more time into a mechanic if you're not going to engage in it because the companions aren't that great? And... <sighs> Obsidian's companions can be hit and miss. Some of them are really good. Alpha Protocol, Pillars of Eternity, uh, Fallout New Vegas. But then there's the ones in Deadfire that wasn't over the key on. Uh, or the Outer Worlds. Not super keen on the ones there. That said, Pavati is a darling. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get on with the game. If this is about the patrols, my novitiates are already stretched to the limit. Between the refugee envelope and the mess at Heritage Hill, I'm sorry, I simply don't have enough units to spare. I'm, I'm sorry, was there something else you need? Is there something wrong at Heritage Hill? What is it wrong is the real question. A whole district of walking, flesh-eating corpses. We sealed the area two months ago, just after I lost one of my finest commanders there. And yet this is the second guard rotation that disappeared. There are already enough rumours about the place floating around the keep without my soldiers whispering about these disappearances, she shakes her head. Just as soon as the band of the historic, but if those monsters find a way out... Tell me about it. it used to be one of the most prestigious districts in Defiance Bay, but a few months ago the residents all went mad, starting eating each other, and anything else they had the bad luck to wander into the district. I'll never find seen anything like it. Now every initiate stands guard there, every one that comes back anyway. Talks of the stench of the grave and the groans of spiritual horrors. The why and how are questions for the animances. I've sealed the district in hopes of containing whatever happened there. It seems to be working for now. There's nothing else I must attend my duties. What do you do here? 
Yeah, I'm in charge of the Keeps Novitiates. I was responsible for the training and patrol assignments. They're good soldiers, and they've been equipped to adapt to new challenges. You said earlier there was something wrong with Heritage Channel. I could look into it. To find spare positive too. So you're the one my Novitiates have been talking about. If you are offering help, I won't refuse. Certainly not for someone on from Fjord exploits. I can't look. Uh, I can't lose any more no soldiers like this. No refugees pouring into the city and doesn't start up to send. Normally, I'd say this is an internal matter, but I can't afford to mount an expedition right now, and I certainly can't afford a crisis of air that the Crucible keep. You've got my permission to enter Heritage Hill. I'll send word to the guard at the gate. Okay. And who's this Seder? Had a bath and quite a few square meals. She smiles shyly. Okay. Anyone say it? So yeah. I will say that actually, like Starfield, for all my complaints with Starfield and the little time I actually needed to play it to actually, yeah, you know, feel comfortable complaining about it. The idea of them actually having character, this is about uh, the breast, family, is cool. I told Cleaver they won't be repaired till next week. Um, the idea of like you can actually have a cat, you can actually have family as a perk is kind of cool. And sometimes lots of favors and kickbacks and whatnot, but hey, it's family. I want to see more of that in games. I want to see more of like, hey, I have a child friend and I need to go back and do things for them every now and again. Or I bring them gifts and I see them and we just have a nice bit of role play and that's it. There's no mechanical reward to it other than I mean, maybe they've got a nice trinket. But it's worthless to everyone else. Things like that would be nice. Roleplay for the sake of roleplay. Not just putting in love and getting sex out of it, you know? Like a fucking vending machine. Doesn't work like that, you know? It's like... It's like... like, you, like the question is never how do you get a relationship, it's how you build a relationship. And you don't really build them in video games, it's more like you're ticking boxes. You know, you're doing quest stages. It doesn't work like that in real life, and that's why so many games do it wrong. And I get it, you know, games aren't real life, movies aren't real life, books aren't real life, I know. But, I think we can do better. And I think, really, just actually having a break and stepping back from relationships and games could actually help that. Um, do we do we need these romances all the time? Um, especially, and do we need to clamour for them when, really, you know, we don't even know what the companions are going to be like yet. So, yeah. Uh, so, I'm going to ask him about the uh, Blade of the Endless Paths from Cadnoa. Or Odnoa, rather. That's a fine blade indeed. Looks a dear and special maid. Must have been a commission for a champion of some sort. A sword of this caliber would have had a specially designed hilt, too. It would be a shame to graft anything else onto it. Besides, it'll balance best with all the original pieces. You find the rest of it, and I'll forge it for you. Something else in your mind? What do you do I'm here? I'm a forge master. I'm a master smith for the Crucible Knights. But the way I see it, I'm also keeping up with our old traditions. The first members of our order were smiths. Nowadays, most everyone's a professional soldier. I suppose it's to be expected. But I think it's important we keep up with our roots, too. I can appreciate that. Tell me about the knights. We were all smiths back in Hodrit's day, though I'm about the only one here who still gets his hands dirty. We're a fearsome fighting force, though these days I think Cleaver takes more pride in our parade formations. Oh great, now I stopped talking. He thinks of himself a progressive man, but he's obsessed with soul energies and connections of the deer with heroes of old. He picks up his eye again. Other than dear Don Reed Rue, he, uh, who really knows about any of that, though? And the creeping mother, hello. Um, with life in a past of their own imagining, 
purpose does it serve? And so much depends on action now. Yep, goodbye. They shall see nothing. I can do that. As requested. I can do that. As requested. I can do that. There's really little benefit for me doing this, but I'll give it a try. Oh, I get XP, so it's not too bad. As requested. Okay. There's war room this way, but I don't think we'll be allowed up this way. Oh, we're done. Okay, it seems to be a god of the smith. Uh, a god of the forge. I can respect that. Just don't have the manpower. We'll uh, hear what he's got to say shortly. Nice and quiet. I can do that as requested. Oh, yeah. Refugees from every corner of the Deerwood. The dozens getting them all riled up about animancy. This raid will need twice the soldiers to patrol Defiance Bay. Yes? Can I help you with something? Uh, Fleetbreaker Castle. The High Justice has summoned almost half of my novitiates and more of my justiciars to a keep on the other side of New Haomar. It's not for me to question the High Justice's orders, but it's left us shorthanded. And mark me, we're just a couple sparks away from Anarchy. Um, I'm gonna try and be benevolent. Is there a way I can help? I know how to handle myself. And then give me a slight positive reputation. Or rather, I have a uh, uh, reputation. Always refreshing to meet someone who'd rather fix a problem than complain about it. What about the Dunstan? He's working on an Animancy Scholar. He's working with an Animancy Scholar to build what we're calling Forge Knights. Warriors that can patrol the seats without suffering fatigue, disobedience, or fear. Oh no. So imagine data throws a rock at them. We don't have to worry about things getting out of hand. He's constructed the armor, but we need the scholar's research. Unfortunately, she hasn't been around the last few times my visions are checked. Rihanna lives with the rest of the scriveners out there in Copper Lane. But I haven't seen the soldiers spare the moment spare the moment. Come to the scriveners dormitory and see if you can find her. You get the research, just bring it to Denson. That is his it's area of expertise, anyway. Once you brought him the research, he can sell you any arms or army I have if you have need. He forges and repairs all of our equipment. You can find a more capable smith in Devance Bay. Uh, you in charge of the Crucible Knights? In Devance Bay, anyhow. The High Def Justice is the leader of my order, but he's currently stationed at Fle Fleetbreaker Castle. My job is to oversee our forces in Defiance Bay to keep order for the Duke. So rather nice at the Crystal. Oh, the only professional army in Defiance Bay, or in the Deerwood for that matter. We've defended the city in Hadrid's day. We've improved our uh, training since then, but Dunreed Row can certify that many of our officers come from good Deerwood and finding stock. Now, we're responsible for patrolling the city and keeping the peace. There's so many refugees pausing for the countryside. It's become more important than ever. Unfortunately, that's earned as enemies, particularly among the dozens and some more of the enterprising families in Defense Bay. What do the dozens have against you? <laughs> They're demagogues and troublemakers. They forget that Defense Bay is one of the largest cities in the world and not some frontier outpost. Most of them are mercenaries on a good day, and street thugs the rest of the time. Yes, say, they have no patience for law and order. Say about these enterprising families. As to Admanol, namely. They're one of the city's oldest noble families, and its largest criminal organization. Their patriarch, Gedmar, has been trying to take advantage of the turmoil to expand his operations. 
we've kept on top of him, and he's not too happy about that. I see. Is there something else I can do for you? Keeping an eye out. Edict of arrest. I'll give it a As try. Request, at least. There we go. Right, let's move onwards. Except, oh, hang on, we also want to check the archives as well. Oh, I think we already have. Uh, Rogan Knight. Built the last. Couple lane, okay. Uh, that's Rick. This one is. Built to last, we're gonna go to a couple lane, okay, that's fine. Hey, well met. <laughs> Are you looking for something? I just won't become a knight. We don't just take anyone. Our members share soul legacies with the very men and women who've defended this land a century and a half ago. Anyhow, uh, Commander Cliver, I refuse to call him Cleaver. Cliver is responsible for initiations, but he really accepts foreigners. Is there something else? Well, the nice of the crucible. With the primary defenders of Tavaz Bay. The Order's founders were the first to rally for dear wooden independence. Of course, that's ancient history now. Now we're the most prestigious company of soldiers in the Deerwood. It's a glorious line of work. If you can forget about the barracks, that is. Does his name Osric familiar? If you've got any self-respect, you won't associate with them. Nor any of his new friends of the expedition hall, for that matter. Scamps and delinquents, a lot of them. Is that his breastplate you're wearing? It was. He looks down and admires it. It became the property of Crucible Knights when it was discharged. Now it's mine. And it's not for sale. That's what you're wondering? Not every day you find armor that was used in the rebellion. What's the story between you two? Osric has always held some controversial opinions, but they went overlooked for the longest time because his family was such an extensive history of service from the Crucible Knights. He finally went too far. He had the gall to suggest that we had strayed too far from our roots, that some of our officers were beginning to resemble a dear nobility. He would have, he would have us all wear rough spun and fight with the Forge Hammers. I merely reported his statements. That history made the knights what they are now. You can't just cast it aside. We've outgrown the past. Sometimes you need to move on. He says your affidavit is a forgery. Rational too. Just what would he know about that? It's perfectly convenient for him to cast dispersions with his pedigree with the knights. It's a lie, of course. It should be perfectly obvious to someone as logical as you. Enough about Os Osric. On that, we can agree. Uh the house we need to go to now. Let's see if this is genuine. Oh hang on. Eddie wants to talk to me. Strange place for a shrine to Abidon, Crucible Keep. Maybe it made more sense at some point before it gathered all that dust. The only thing the Knights of the Crucible worship these days is the nobility, as far as I understand it. I knew some soldiers who got recruited by the Knights after the war was over. They told me some about it. They get these young kids in there and tell them about the blacksmithing and the revolution and the old bad tradition. It took quite the Gollum like it was created the Crucible Knights in his own forge to win Deerwood's independence. And they join and it turns out 
All uh, any of those knots ever really talk about is when they're going to recognize as a real knighthood. When are we going to get our titles and our land? Aha, Justice wants to be an owl. Says it's Abaddon's will. He's got a castle and an army. I wonder how long he'll be before he starts a war over it. Saying Abaddon tell them to. It seems like some of us do still take their ideas seriously. Um... <laughs> um... I'm gonna say that uh, they don't seem all bad. They keep in the peace into Vance Bay. There is a kernel to something good out there, I think. But some good people went to rap by each other. Trouble is, they're headed away from it. Yeah. Hello? Uh, ah, uh, just news. Got about another. Slew the ogre with one blow. What do you think? Great, wonderful. Uh, what? Sorry, I lost track of things when you got to uh, the part about uh, when you mentioned the thing. Um... Would you prefer it if Nirawa were facing a Stelgar while undressed? How about half dressed? Mail on top, nothing on bottom. Tell the story like that next time. Right. Um, yeah. See. So, yeah. Hadrid House. Ah, of course, the cipher's here. I do like, like the one of the, the last time I played uh, Pillars of Tenting, like I was really attached to it, was with the whole idea of the Gold Pike Knights and the dozens. Good day to you. The idea that there's those that work for the nobility and work for the peasantry. Never shall the twain meet less in combat. They both share the heritage. They both were there at the time, but. Some remember it differently to others. Yeah, it's very interesting. Is this affidavit real? It's not by you. He holds the page, but seems to stare through the words as if something is woven into the fabric of the paper. Karen bears his pointed teeth. I remember Penhill, grinning peacock of a man, his mouth dry and hands moist when I told him he was a sole descendant of an Aedir in general, one who had fought against Hundred Rebellion. A poetry? Not the best I've seen. But I have no time for the knights and their obsessions. Bring this to his commander, Cliver, and show the seal. If he compares it with another, he should be able to spot the difference. To a man for the soul the gods gave him. Seems rather well unfair. I was invited to be here by Lady Webb. Forgive me, she does not take many visitors, but the ones she does invite her are fascinating a lot. She was marvel at her choices. Nothing in common to my eyes, but her sight is far keener than mine. I wonder what it is she sees. River's upstairs, the one with the guards out front. Since so we may not understand the value, but the Duke certainly does. So. Yeah. And on the one hand, yeah, it is a shame that like his soul, you know, actually has some idea in it. And it is a form of discrimination. Part there. My whole right side is, is sort of a blind spot. Okay. Uh, just trying to set the cipher to you. One of my novices told me he'd seen some of the record room. Give me the affidavit. I've done nothing to you. Is that the a hand comes to the rest near his sword? What does this mean to you? Are you serious? It's my career. I've labelled the years for it. And it all hangs on some coincidence of a past life. A dear wooden rich old pork and a spout of position in the Crucible Knights. Anyone can rise to the rank of High Justice, except those who were born with the wrong soul. Tell me how that's reasonable. I mean, it's not reasonable. I agree, 100%. But, you're an arsehole. So, um, no. In all seriousness, yeah, it is. It sucks. That 
gods to hand you a dealt, though. Take it up the gods. Uh, I fully intend to. Uh, should there come a time where we can? Look, I'm a priest of Barath. The wheel's my business. Okay, or rather, I worship a god whose whose domain is the wheel. Take it up with Barath. Well, me. Ah. Um. But I'm sorry, but that's that's the way they do things. There's the rules, and no one's above them. I suppose it deserves to know the truth. What truth? But over a century ago, I was my dear, and it was dust in the ground, you yeah? know? I'll ask you one more time. Give that back. Out of the way, little man, you don't stand a chance. Don't be a fool, we're in public. Which is why everyone will be shocked to hear about what they saw as the company of Crucible Knights on provocation. You could one with such a spotless record as mine. Oh, there's a company of them, so there is. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll just deal with you then, and then uh, the rest will follow. If they don't back down, we'll just blow them up. They really must time it down though. That's the right answer. Now I'm going to take this up with your commander. Like the thing is, like you were saying, like everyone has the right chance. Everyone has a chance to become high justice and whatnot. Yeah, if your soul fits, if your face fits. That's their rules. Is it wrong? Yeah. But it's not like there's not other jobs out there. It's not like there's other things you can do out there. Yeah. Okay, so he's not blood. Fine. Like, don't go wrong, I don't apply this logic to real life. In context, the full context of this is it's a fantasy game. And souls have a great many effects on things. I'm not going to lie, these guys are keeping the order in the city. I ain't going to want to disrupt that. If you have the time, Herodotus, I thought perhaps... You mean the builders? I don't really want to get into it. I promise not to comment. I'm a student of culture. It's hardly my place to judge. Not that. If I started talking about the builders, it'll remind me that I ought to kill all of you for violating the sanctity of their lands. You're right. It's a very personal question. Let's drop the subject. Hmm. This is the arm you wanted. How did you manage it? You're right about the affidavit. Unfortunately, Penelm forced me into a fight. No shame, it's into like that. But he's the lion weasel who started this. You did as I asked. 
You know, you are right, watch. Stop my son, old shop by the other side of the hall. You saw some of the best gear in the city, and I'll see that she opens her inventory to you. Hmm. So I got some moderate positive reputation with the dozen sanctified pay. What is this armor to you, anyway? I nice suffer really. It's just a keep saver. It commemorates the Order of Magrin. Ah, it's the Order of Valor. Vala. Awarded to the dead, never the living. Those dear woodens, real dear woodens. We don't have nobility or birthrights. Unless it's some, it's just some fuck, copper fucker from here, dear. Always got it's the honour we bring to our family name. Ah, copper fucker, that's a new one. So this is something to live up to. What business with me? So we can hire an adventurer if we need to. So there we go. And now we can buy gear. Woohoo! Good day to you. Show you what else, please. Exceptional gear. Braces of all consuming rage. Well, yeah. Dandy has the disease, yak. Resolve 2. I just wanted to like, okay. Interesting choice of name. Snuff's Folly. Bile Stompers. Minor Fetid Caress. Cloak of the Fox and Hunter. Hmm. Summon Noble. Summon Noble Creature. Summon Beagle Dog. I... <laughs> Okay, let's read this. A dear wooden legend tells the story of a hunter who spent her days in the woods trying to find food for her family. In her first trap, she caught a boar. Please, great hunter, the boar begged when she approached. I am no ordinary boar. I am the ruler of my kind. If you free me, I will reward you greatly. So the hunter freed the boar, who ran off laughing, never to be seen again. Her second trap caught a turkey. Please, powerful hunter, the turkey said when she approached. I am no ordinary turkey. I am the ruler of my kind. If you free me, you will get rewards such that you cannot imagine. So the hunter released the turkey. Also ran off laughing. It was to be seen again. The final trap held a fox. Please, mighty hunter. I will not free you, said the hunter. Already I have lost two wonderful meals. I will not lose a third. If you truly will reward me, then I will free you. But you must leave something of yours behind so I know that you will return. So the fox left behind the link of its legs, enchanting the hunter's cape with the grace and feel it. Grace and reflexes. The fox returned to its kind, but was rejected for its short legged appearance. You look like a dog, her fellows taunted. No longer welcome among her kind, the fox returned to the hunter and offered another deal. She would aid the hunter in all endeavours as payment for her life. This cloak represents the bargain between the fox and the hunter. With then born, this cloak is tanned with light splashes. When pulled over the head, the corners look like erect dog ears. So it summons a beagle. What a beagle actually does in combat, if anything, I don't know. Headpiece, okay. Uh, some monocle. The unmistakable scent of old money, okay. Yep, I'll take that. Berserker's belt. Rage bonus. And what have I got my stash as well that I can sell? Ravenwing, okay, let's have a look at that. It's a mace. It's what my god likes. We 
Okay, so we might have some more work now. I do have something, if you don't mind stepping on the toes of the Crucible Knights. Come to think of it, the Dominels won't be too pleased either. They've never liked seeing someone with nicer things than them. Where do I begin? Some of my other expeditions have come back with a rumor about a place called Lea Remen up near Stormwall Gorge. It's supposed to hold some of the greatest weapons those Engwithen bastards ever made. And we've got need of them. Stoic 2. I trust you won't go blathering into the town cry when I tell you the knights are meddling in animancy. They're valuing souls to build metal warriors. We've got to be prepared to defend ourselves and the city. If there's anything that can stand out against this menace, it's probably made by Engwithens themselves. They've made the same kind of abominations in their time, they know how to kill them. I said the giant slayers after the weapons, but they haven't had much luck so far. They're better fighters than treasure hunters. Read them up and put in planes and see how far they've gotten. Give those weapons, I'll see you get your cut. Yeah. I don't know about this. But then I don't know about the whole idea of the men of iron either. Or automatons. Dormitory was, yeah, yeah. What else is going on? Um, dark and darker. Uh, the South Korean court that's looking over that with Nexon, with Nexon who are essentially uh, 2010 EA around today. Um, they've uh, the, the, the Korean court has thrown out the case. Keeping an eye out. I can do that, as requested. At the moment. Yeah. Yes. Um. Yeah, the tiles are complete. Nice. <sighs> All the defenses are done. Great. Oh, we've got the um, hedge maze as well. I'll do that. Are you what I'm looking for? Yes. Gods keep you. Look at Vienna. I love Vienna. She's always talking about metal men, which is strange, since I'm pretty sure she doesn't need snow cap. Anyway, she's not here right now. I'll have to wander's gift to meet her friend Lassia. No, Lassia, yes, Lassia. Lassia is the friend that she's going to meet. Wander's gift in the house, not a boat. North house, anti house. Wander's gift has a lot of boats. She can ride sometime. As you wish. Yeah, so maybe we can even the playing fields between the dozens and these guys. But I don't want to. Annoy the Crucible Knights. Actually, I'm not really that bothered about annoying the Crucible Knights. Traveling with you, Haravi. Alone for years, and I'm happy to have company for a change. My part of the country has a saying about Orleans: face of skin, let them in; face of hair, best beware. But you're more like a skin-faced Orlin. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, my tribe has a saying, head of brunette, they're all set. Head of blonde says everything wrong. Wait, was that bad? I meant it as a compliment. It says there's a house in the north. Otter's house.
Let's have a look at these now. Um, yeah, so dark and darker. It's looking better for them. But better isn't necessarily good at the moment. And then there's... Uh, Right the right place. Empty house, what's up with the other house then? What's this? Oh. Um but yeah. Just wanna You got pages of research here. Yeah, I swear to really if this was just your scratch work. It's nothing, I promise, just my notes. We know you're meeting with the crucible tonight. We think they're the only ones with the power in the city. Call us the dozens for a reason. Now I won't ask you again. It's okay, well, I'll pretend I never saw this. It's too late for that, I know what's off shit. Blood makes the grass grow! Blood makes the grass. There we go. Well, I don't know who you are, but thank you. You're all that were going to kill me. What happened here? I thought I was coming here to meet my um friend from the Republics. It looked like I walked into a trap. The Tessons must have been watching me for a while. I, I've been working on a special property for the Crucible Knights. They weren't exactly settled by a contact to me. Well, this project. It deals with a rather rare branch of animacy. Uh, and so I probably shouldn't get into too specific without Commander Cleaver's position. Commissioned it after all. Since you can see the trouble, uh, a little discussion has gone me into. What about yourself? I studied animancy back in Asia, back in the prevailing republics. I came to Defiance Bay to research local advances, but instead of going back to Brackery Sanitarium, I found a position as a scrivener in the Temple of Whale. I had access to many rare manuscripts that most animancers never see. Of course, I've had to keep my head down. I've been careful not to let the head librarian or my colleagues know what I'm working on. It's going to go out of here. When the clear of the Grutable Knights is waiting on my research, now that you haven't already done a lot, not that you haven't done a lot of for me, but you'd be able to take me to him. I kept him over to prevent you from falling into the wrong hands, but you can see how well that worked out. She took it from me while I arrived. Anyhow, don't wait on me. I can probably go out my out. Arrow Breaker. Arrow Breaker! Heavy armor. Okay, move speed to place the answer to Of course. Okay. Just a single. I'm not calling Isilmir out just so you can learn he'll speak. I'll write down a few words.
I don't think what else is going on in gaming. Um. Oh, the new Suicide Squad game. Uh, the devs have said that because we're gamers, we're not gonna. You know, we are gonna respect your time. But well, they're making a live service game, so. It's a bit of an oxymoron there, isn't it? You know, you can't have a live service game that respects your time, you have to choose one or the other. There's no such thing as a live service game that respects your time. I'm back and uh, let's see if we can wrap this up. Uh, Wanda Cleaver says you're working on with an animator to follow those foolish nights. So much for his talk of secrecy. I, I'm building Cleaver's metal warriors. He says they're what we need to keep order and defiance bay, so. How are you creating these foolish nights? Super armor and souls. Cleaver's heavy repairing and reinforced with his armor for months now. So we could fill in some more. Poor sword systems. Those are scholarly girls, has got a numbers, right? Using armor with a soul won't be that hard. That's not what bothers me. Do you disagree with Cleaver of the Fortune Knights? I disagree with them on near everything, and this is no exception. These Fortune Knights weren't souls or vampire problems. He can call what he wants, but they aren't knights. I don't really stand on the other problem. The souls he's brought to power these Fortune Knights. Clearly, he was telling himself that these were willing donors, but he knows better. There's a reason you have to buy souls through less than legal channels. We should be clearing those scavengers off the road, not doing business with them. I think donors now has a laugh. I know plenty of idiots for willing to donate their lives. I've never seen despair so die that one would give up their soul. I need to be honest research to complete them. He's just been working out a method to transfer the souls into the armor. Getting the process is just right is critical. Buying the souls through directly and they get something like those flesh concepts in the sanitarium. Barely bright enough to avoid walking through a wall. Buying them too loosely, they become too self-aware for their own good. Mad killers and metal bodies. If only. This is something that Warhammer 40,000 went into. With AI. Um that artificial intelligence or abominable intelligence um, went rogue and started killing it, so they had to get rid of it. So the way they have machines now is like, yeah, you can have machines, but if you have artificial machines, you sort of have to have like machines grafted into people. It's so like servitors. It's like cyborgs, essentially, uh, who are lobotomized and you know only have enough function to do the tasks they are given. Uh, you can see more of that in Rogue Trader, for instance. Um, give me honest research. I think this is what he's been looking for. That's what Cleaver's been looking for anyway. If you found it, I guess I've got to start. Yes, I'm too happy about this. I'm not, and I'm surprised someone as compassionate as you is going along with it. I better clear to the Cleaver that this is not a good idea. Try to harness souls like this is a crime against the gods, and it's bound to win as much of all the saves. But Cleaver's given me his orders. So I've got these things to build as best I can. Anyway, Cliff stop it to tell you any arms and armors you might want. I can't find any better in advance paper but I can proceed. Now, time to see if that Valian was worth all that blood and copper. Okay. I'll be damned. To be honest, even I wasn't expecting it to work this well. Back to it. Cleaver will want me to finish the rest of them. It sounded like he has a job for you, too. White Spire. Dungeon of Stoke. I suppose one of the positions of a member of the Bleak Walkers. Uh, that seems to protect her. Are they the Bleak Walkers? I'm not sure the Bleak Walkers are like members of, uh, like Barath's Paladins. Spiraling engravings upon the blade are flanked by small, finely etched symbols of binding enchantments, which were printed with a permanent shell of metal. Interesting for us when they stuck cells. Uh, that's disorienting. Prince Blizzard. The rest. It's nice, but it's not a thousand copper nice. Hundred's coat. The armor. GR14, that's really good. Four 
Watch my sister's clothes. So we'll put fiber on that. Yep, it's close. I can't even have a knock. Uh. Ah, because of his eye patch. Can't wear that one, Slava. Okay. Uh. What else can we give people? For his uh, intellect. Uh, what else have we got that we can get people? Fortnite. First one made. Well, let's see what's going on here as well. I have two quests to wrap up tonight. Dunstan will complete the first squad of Forge Knights in no time. Now the High Justice will want to have his Forge Masters at Fleetbreaker Castle create more. Alright, right, that is my position. That's your a close ally of the devil. Dozens. I'm sure you understand that the uh, association puts us in a precarious position. Dozens consider me an ally. So we're both allies with each other. Well, um, if you don't want my hand, then that's fine. Do I have some background? Do I have background? Scholar, farmer, gentry.
Where's the planes I was meant to go? So now we're going to find the these weapons for the dozens in case they have to fight the uh, the Forge Knights. Whatever happens, it will probably be a good idea for either side to have the means to stop these things. We'll have a look here and see if that's where they are. These giant slayers. Yeah, I think the gunpowder knights have the better ideas. Even if I don't particularly like some of the ideas. Must be lost, Bob. Giant slayers don't care about it. When it's sent me to help. When it sent you. You think you can get the weapons? You've got two problems, rookie. Lighted entrance for one of the crucible patrols for another. We've seen more knights than face painters out here. Cruel term. Why are the knights of the crucible here? Don't divine who. The glorified thugs in armor and usually prefer that for the beds to come cots. I'd go at one in an instant, but I can't clear bounces as a wanton man. So about the flooded entrance. Must be the rains. We found this in the water though. He holds a flat stick of the piece of Ardra and drops it into a pouch on his belt. Not much natural Ardra around here. That'll be a key of some kind. Couldn't experiment much with the damn knights prowling around. How many of these weapons? We ain't in Spain, good money from. That's all I need to know. That's all I am. That's an interesting question. You see, we never, ever share bounties. Um, you and I have no quarrel. You made one by coming here. Um, uh, it's not against my God's dispositions that I go aggressive. If you don't get out of your, your face out of mine, I'll have to split it open. I love size for you for a moment for a long time. Eventually breaks the stair, splitting into a dark stream into the grass. you got storms. I'll give you that. But you've caught me on a good day. I'll see you figure it out then. Come on, what reels for us tonight? We'll do all these upstairs later. We're we'll seeing you. Let's see about this key. We're on good terms with the knights, this shouldn't be too much of a problem. So I'm guessing they're referring to this bit here. Link cell is going to be at dusk. Let's wait a while. Well, wait a while. 
Star Wars season in space, and you feel uh, rushing against tiny gaps in the inundation. It appears to be hell firmly in place now. You hear the sliding of stone underneath your feet, and the sudden rush of water. Pull before you begins to drain. Okay. Oh. Where is that clever? And we came to blows. <laughs> yeah, if there's one thing Obsidian are really good at, it's making two factions, like, kind of necessary, but you don't have to like them. Um, oh, well, that was quick. Stonehead. There is no true value than the essence of fortune of Rond. Turn twice to the left to prepare the your soul for its reckoning. No prisoners! As you wish. Turn twice to the left. Once, twice again. Brave It spells the work against vessels. He uh, spells the work against. Okay. Oh, this is the help of a weapon, the true warrior grass and those are strength. Let's read the quality of the defense. Okay. Um... I'll bring people together. I'm oh, my best for working alongside my lad. So it is with your power. Pay those 600 gold pieces, that's not too bad. Five hours up in
a lot of health damage to me. I don't necessarily like that. Thing first, shade. First die ice and easy. Yeah, I think this is the big one. The banshee. first. We're a call of your own, Watcher. As you shroud by our lives and unanswer questions. Can you see any details about our past? I'm sorry. Whatever secrets your soul hides are not present in my mind. They're my bones. I would not wish to share. Uh, yes, I call them more and more of lanes. Um, so why are we journeying together? One may draw strength from many, and many may be prevented by the purpose of one. A scale past is a trouble here. Yeah, whatever I've done, my decisions now matter more. How may you clarity, would you? I hope I may help you prepare for the decisions ahead. In the background, if you do not already know she was there, you would suspect you wouldn't notice her at all. Alright then. Yes. Desire is the aim of the soul, it is purpose and direction. The sharpened point of a blade. Speak your ambition, that your soul may strike true. I inspire those around me and I lend my strength to our common purpose. So shall it be. A vessel of flesh may house a soul for years, a vessel of bronze will house a soul for generation. Enter the water and choose a vessel of stone. Cessation, you had a high pitched ring over one of the senses and accompanied by an angry utterance. Invader, thief. Uh. 
talking about that later. Why I shall call forth two witnesses and shall take up positions on the emblems. Bear testament to the character of his soul. The warrior shall ascend the dais. Soul vessel in hand to undergo transference. Bearing his soul. Vessel and a weapon out of an Adra. Right without a precious iron. In this way, he shall fashion an arm worthy of his skills and ambitions. Okay, so we've got to do all the other stuff first. Near as I can tell. Most effective weapon that I need to get these guys away from me. Those who give themselves to the glory of Ingwith. As you wish. Hey. Yes. Okay, okay. I don't know all the hammer just. Try to pursue and you shall not have it. Now feed. Friendly spiders. <laughs> you know what that means, don't you? Dialogue encounter. Taking and fasting animal. My legacy. Benevolent too. It clutches an egg like stone with its burnly fingers. The colony. Animal calm. Yes, well, yes. Doing with that stone. Such a different form. And yet a mind. Its mind is alive with the same thoughts as ours. Home. Family. Memory. Legacy. Colony. Younger all is few. So to hatch. Fragile. Last of colony. Soon to die. Long dead animals put spirit stuff in metal. I keep spirit stuff in stone. Take to no colony. 
golden needle over this week. Young, frail. Into your wisdom. Two colonies together survive. Next one colony. Need a legacy to guide a new colony. Be strong. Go. And may there be peace between our kinds. There is peace and gentleness, it does. Neuritic, Dick. Neuritic, go. Bring legacy. Many things. Okay, so whatever happened here. Ooh, that's 100 as well. Uh, first affliction. And the ancient with the weapons. Yeah. So the crystal eaters and the widow makers seem to have um, been working together. What the well holds. New quest. A swaddling sheet. Here north, miles north of Kindle Vale, sits a tiny village called White Wreath. So small it's often missed on maps and tech reports, text reports. The village has little contact with the rest of the deer wood. Despite its size, the village has long history to the its clan path or tribe. Probably came over three centuries ago. Uh, okay. Strands, go for the well. Yep, I'll assign someone. Um, you've all done a quest. That's this is uh, Sagani. We can do that one. Now they send men into the water and choose a vessel of stone. That sounds like something over here. Can't enter the water. Let's see if we can go here anyway. This might help us out a bit. And then I think once this quest is done, we can wrap up and then see this in the next part. Which may be tomorrow, or definitely. I mean, I do enjoy playing the game, but at the same time, I really need to get on with my Warhammer minis. I don't want to burn out. Um, Done here though, I really like, anyway, there's gotta be something else here. Go to the water and choose a stone vessel, I think it said. But there's no other water here. So the lesson means go out to the surface. Go down here into the water. I think here. No. Hmm. Just gonna look this up. No way. Um. Lay. Hmm. 
There's got to be something more to this. Um, So I think... So this. Okay, so so I don't think we got. Oh, that's the water stop. Flooding out. So I think this water disappears. Let's rest up. Let's have to pass more time of the day. If it disappears in the evening, but I think there's more to this place at a later act. Yeah, a second. Runs beneath the lake, that's a flood, because is there more to this? Oh, and as well, if you... Oh, I've just realised as well, if you accept this quest, you cannot take any more quests from... The Knights of the Crucible. <laughs> oh well. Let's have a look. Okay, so as far as I can tell, yeah, we're actually missing half the map, but we won't be able to do more until... I don't really want to side with the dozens, to be honest. Um... Well, that's the choice we've made. Um... Let's return. Yeah. My thing was, like, I mean, don't go wrong, I don't particularly like Golden Knights either. They have a lot of problems, but I don't really want to. So are the dozens either. Right, Warden's Lodge. So we're going to upgrade this next because if we do this, we actually get bounties. We can do bounties. Well, that'll be a nice little bit of side content. Besides so content, money, XP. What's not to love? What's happened now? That's not very helpful. I like how this just to see us not following. Great. 
Now we cast fire. I'll find it today as been all. As you wish. <laughs> In fact. Um you're off. You're Do we want to? Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of crackling ball because we're not really using it. Um, yeah, let's slow anyways. Express all abilities. Fireball. Um. Yeah, that's good. Oh, if I will. Uh, I'm not really using because of that, but what else can we do? Blind enemies, that'd be good. Oh, that crossy lance is good. Nice and simple. Vessel spells. Uh, we're using confusing areas. Yeah, that one's not as good. Chill fog. Jolting touch. Chill fog. Fire flames. Yep. Hit missiles. That's fine. We go. Ninth and tenth level. Hmm. Maybe we need some more fourth level spells. Yes. Just to find some good enough enemies. Well, if the dozens are I going to run wish. things, at least the giant slayers are here to help. What else do you need? I pull the weapon you were looking for. Old, all right, but this isn't what I was expecting. I don't suppose you figured out what was supposed to make them so special. The griffins used to fill them with fragments for their essence. Please take them. If I'd known, I'd, I'd, I'll see that someone disposed of this perversion. Little want of the glum griffins don't want you digging around those ruins. If you're only going to destroy what they find. Oh, now you have to sympathize with them. At least I don't have to waste any more expeditions on this. If the knights make a move, we'll just have to face them down with old-fashioned deer wooden metal. Hopefully you can avoid any conflict. That's for trouble with that one, sir. So you're the knights, so yeah, you had to run over the patrol. I didn't have a choice. Might be I send them on your way. Send them on your way. Need them to turn their attention away from the city for a while. And they'll be doubling and tripling those patrols. There's a reckoning coming in, the, in those hearings and Focus have had it with the legacy. They've had it with the soul bushes hanging around the gods. If the duke won't stop them, over the effigy? Or the effigy? If the good people of the deal, we don't taste it to ourselves. The dozens will leave the church. Oh, God. They're charging on Brackenbury. Same sanitarium. I have to hope they stay there for a while. The knights are with the duke on this one. If he decides wrong, they'll be on our way. And the of preparations. We don't like what the knights represent, but there's a lot to learn from them. Like, how to scratch pretty letters into our armor. When it was granted mob justice. Oh, God, just rub it in. 
Anyway, I hear you one. I wish to say my old war bow. It's a trusting piece. I won't be sniping in the shadows from Devout's Bay, as neither of us know how to healing, I hope. If there's anything else I can do for you, let me know. Mob Justice. Well? What the hell is Mob Justice? Do I even want to know what Mob Justice is? Look at a nice new war bow. Yay. Is it just as a spell or an item or... What have I done? So I'm still an ally of the Great Knights of the Gristle. I'm moderately good with the dozens. Uh Yay. As you wish. Of course. So, I've just given Defiance Bay to a mob. Uh, great. It's like, you know, it's like, hey, look, whenever I think of them, what matters now is that we work on making this place the best it can be. The Death's Gate, so we've still got two more things to do. In fact, we've got that embers of Sinners of Faith, haven't we? We've got Searing Falls, okay. Let's try for that as well. So I think that's where I'm going to end it tonight. I appreciate it's not been the best episode. But we have done a lot. A fair amount. We've unknowingly sat up with. Uh, the dozens, the uh, the ones who put, and they did ultimately put an end. They, their ancestors put an end to the uh, the uh, the uh, word same word one, the same small. But um, you know. You need to bring order at the end of a revolution. That's going to be hard, but we'll see how that goes. Alright, so thanks everyone for watching. Take care, and look forward to seeing you in the next part. Ta-da for now.